It is time for the LA Sentinel Community Insider, our weekly partnership with the Los Angeles Sentinel and Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer, Pam Bakewell, joining us in studio with more. It's always good to have you here. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, you have yeah. a lot going on in the paper today, yes. but let's start with that local hospital getting some much needed funding. Oh, yes. It's really important because mm -hmm. um, Martin Luther King Jr. Hospital mm -hmm. really has been suffering and it was under threat of closure and we mm -hmm. can't let that happen. No, definitely not. So um, the elected officials, Supervisor Holly Mitchell, Senator <clears throat> Steve Bradford and mm -hmm. Assemblyman Mike, G Mike Gibson mm -hmm. actually have come together to help and were able to secure $25 million wow. from the state budget. Yeah. So that was helpful. And um, Supervisor Holly Mitchell was able to secure $20 million from the wow. county earlier this year. Mm -hmm. So they were actually lauded and given applause on at well, the July 5th event mm -hmm. at the hospital. So we're really excited that, yeah. but it's not sustainable. So, you know, they have over 100,000 emergencies wow. every year. They thought yeah. it was only going to be 30,000. But no, it's, uh, it's so many people 000. are using the hospital. Yes, it's in yes. an area where the, it is getting a lot of and use. It's a beautiful hospital. Yes, it know? is. No, it, it really they put a lot of work. We cannot let this hospital. No, go. definitely not. Yeah. Definitely yeah. not. All right. What about some safety efforts on the metro? You so I have to give props to Stephanie Wiggins, the mm -hmm. CEO. She she knows everyone's concerned about their safety oh, yes. on a metro. So they have a three tier plan mm -hmm. right now. They have increased the number of uniform officers. Okay. So LAPD. Uh, the sheriff's department mm -hmm. and their local ambassador program has mm -hmm. been successful. Mm -hmm. They've actually reduced the number of incidents um, and they're able to respond more thoughtfully to people with mental illness. Yeah. Um, also, they can give tickets to those who deserve the tickets mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's gotcha. instead of everybody. Yeah. And they have one really good, they do more social partnerships now, mm -hmm. so that's the three-tier effort. Mm -hmm. But what's really exciting is that they identified a man sitting there for a long time, the ambassadors did, uh -huh. got a phone number from him, you know, didn't throw him off the train. Yeah was able to call. His sister said he had been missing for a couple of days. Oh, no. Yeah, and so they were able to get him reunited with his yeah. family. So there are good things happening there. Yes, yes. And we have to talk about that, too. Yeah, and, and it's yeah. so important because in so many other large cities, people really rely on Metro, and, and yes. you know, so many people use it, yes. and it's so yes. important. So yes. we need to be safe, and, yes. and it's good to see that good yes. things are happening. Yes, because Absolutely. mental illness is everywhere, so everybody's not a threat. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay, finally, Reverend James Thomas. He's uh, celebrating a special yes. anniversary. Yes, he, uh, he's celebrating his fifth anniversary in Compton at the Holy Revival Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. uh, but he comes from Inglewood, where he was oh. before, prior to that. He spent 42 years, but he wasn't a pastor. Oh. He was just a really good, I think he was an elder there, a good steward. Uh -huh. But he did so much good work there. He started a 7 a.m. prayer call while he was uh -huh. there. He helped the homeless progress 42 years. Wow, so, that's a long time. Yeah, he was identified to be that uh, the Compton pastor five years ago. Okay. And I think has been doing wonderful things. He believes in uh, on-the-ground support. Mm -hmm. He's a doer. Mm -hmm. And so they celebrated his fifth anniversary. Well, that's great. Yeah. That is great. Well, thank you so much oh, for joining us. You're so many exciting things going on and for the information on these stories and so much more check out this week's edition of the Los Angeles Sentinel you can scan that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen for more details